again, this is Rick Frost, K4REF. Welcome back for another one of our WinLink update videos that will cover features of RMS Express that you might not be aware of. In this program, we're going to look at the exciting new feature of how to use forms in RMS Express. In this program, we're going to cover what is a form, where can I get form files, how do I install form files? How do I use form files? And how can I help make form files? So let's get started. The first thing we want to look at is what is a form and why would we want to use them? WinLink emails are sent as plain text format, like you can see here. Uh, RMS Express has always had the capability to send templates, and by templates I mean something that looks something like this. You would call this up in your email and it gives you a starting point to just fill in extra things with it before you send the email. Well, Forms takes this to a new level. Instead of using plain text, we're going to use HTML pages that look like this. They look just like the printed forms that served agencies are used to seeing. And basically, you're just going to fill in the blanks in these forms. And when you do that, when you finish, you'll hit the Submit button at the bottom, and that will submit it back to RMS Express and close the template. And then you'll have something that looks like this to actually send. Uh, other templates that are available from RMS Express Library right now are the communications list ICS-205A. We also have the incident radio communications plan, the ICS-205. One thing I want you to notice about this is that you can have drop-downs. Anything that you can have in HTML, you can have in these forms. So you can just choose a drop-down instead of having to type it. It'll also fill in the time automatically for you. So all of those things are, will save time and be easier when you're filling them in. Another one you might see is the radiogram that you're used to seeing. Well, why do we want to use forms? Uh, basically, they're easier to fill in, especially for people that aren't familiar with RMS Express. Secondly, you're still only sending a very small transmission. What you're sending is just this plain text file uh, with a small attachment that gives additional information. These HTML forms actually reside at the originating station and at the receiving station. And so you're not sending all of the information it takes to create this form. Uh, I'll open up this form in Dreamweaver, and you can actually see all of the information that would be required. This, all of this text would have to be sent if you were actually going to create the form by sending it through the system. So we don't want to send all this stuff, so all this basically just resides at the originating computer and the receiving computer. Uh, thirdly, it's easier to read. When you see this completed form that's received at the far end, it's much easier for the served agencies and people that are used to seeing it to look at the form and recognize it. It also makes us look much more professional. Uh, all we have to do is print them out and hand them a form, and it's in a form that they're used to seeing. So Forms brings an exciting new capability to WinLink emails sent with RMS Express. The next thing we want to look at is where can I go to get form files. I'm going to show you two locations. There are two places you can go to get form files to run in RMS Express. If you go to the winlink.org website, this is the main page. You can either click on this link here to go to the RMS Express uh, section, or you can come over here to Client Software, click on it, and then go over to RMS Express here on the end and click on that. That will take you to the RMS Express page within the winlink.org website. If you scroll down to the bottom, you're going to see a section called Accessories. And these, this link here is the link to the WinLink Forms Library. So just click on that link. That will take you to the library page, and there's some information you can read through about the forms, but what we're interested in is at the bottom of it. 
Uh, the first item here is the actual, the actual instructions on how to install the forms. Uh, so there's written instructions too. Uh, what they look like is this. Uh, the written instructions, it also gives you where it's located. This is in a PDF form. And it goes down and takes you through all the steps uh, and tells you where to install the files and how to set up templates. Uh, in the templates uh, folders. So that's available to you if you need it. I'm going to show you how to actually do it. Uh, the particular one we're going to start with is the ICS 213. So you'll click on that to get the actual download uh, item here. Uh, so you can see it comes up and where it says download just click on that and in Internet Explorer we're just going to save this locally and once it's saved we're going to go to that location on your computer and you can see that what it brings you is this uh, zip file here and if we actually look at that file within that file are these three items and these are the three items that you're going to need uh, so that's where you go to get uh, the forms itself uh, at the WinLink site. Uh, the other location I want to go to and show you is actually within RMS Express. Uh, so if we go to the RMS Express software and we go to Files and come down to WinLink Catalog Requests and click on that, it will take you to the catalog listings. Um, if you see nothing here or it's not complete, just come over uh, to Update via Internet. And when you click on that, uh, it will update all these uh, so that you see the current catalog. Uh, currently, I have a WL2K uh, RMS uh, selected, the folder. And you can see these are all the uh, frequency lists for Packet, Pactor, Robust, and Winmore. You should keep copies of this on your computer, by the way. One of the other categories under WL2K is Forms. And that's what we're looking for. So all of the current forms will be listed here. In this case, it's ICS 213 is the same form. So we could post a request, do a typical WinLink connection session, uh, wait for the system to respond to it, and then check in for your email one more time, and it would actually download the file to you. So that's the second way you can get uh, your forms uh, to work with RMS Express. Now we're going to look at how do we install form files in RMS Express. So after you've gone and gotten your files, you're going to get them in folders that look like this, that are zipped. Uh, this is the ICS 213, and it's important to note that this is the version 1.03. This is where you can easily see which version of the software that you have. Well, we're going to start out by unzipping that, uh, like you normally would with whatever software that you have available. And then you'll have a file that looks folder that looks like this, and we'll open that folder. And here are the three files that you need to install in your RMS Express software. There's uh, two HTML files and a text file, and you have to have all three files for this to work. So we'll highlight those and hit copy, and then we'll be good to go. Um, we're going to come over and look at our uh, C drive, which we have here, and in the C drive you will find your RMS Express folder. That's where it's normally installed. So we'll open that folder, and then we're going to go to Global Folders. This is the important one for you to know. Uh, so click on Global Folders, and then within that you're going to find Templates. And double click on Templates. This is where all of your form files need to be placed. Uh, you'll notice that I already have the three that we're going to copy in here. So I would just, if they weren't here, I would just copy them in here. If it's an updated version, I would again copy it and overwrite these files. But these are all the existing files that I have in RMS Express. So again, you're going to copy the three files into the C drive, RMS Express folder, global folder, and templates folder. That's where you put the files. And that's all you have to do. So now let's go look at some setup things that you need to take care of in RMS Express. Uh, if you go to Files and come down to the drop-down Form Settings, you just want to confirm this setup. Localhost and the port number would normally be in here. You want to make sure that this is checkmarked. Uh, if it's checkmarked, then your web browser is automatically going to pop open when it sees an incoming file 
uh, that has this capability. So set that and you'll be good. Uh, then under messages we're going to look at these three items. The first one's templates. Uh, you should see all of the existing templates that you've added to the system and it tells you that you have them in the global folder. So just confirm that. Uh, then we'll come back and look at messages and come down to template settings. Uh, these are the settings, uh, some of the settings to set up for templates. Uh, there, you can do a sequence number on your uh, outgoing uh, email, and I su suggest that you make uh, this four digits in length. That'll give you uh, thousands of inputs uh, instead of uh, uh, one. Uh, and if I get my uh, numbers key clicked in here, we'll be able to see that. So put four digits, and then you can also select the default template. In this case, I want the 213. That's going to be the one I use the most. So just highlight the one you want and hit select, and it'll enter it in here. If you want uh, the default template to open, anytime you open a new message, you can enable that by clicking here. Uh, and that will automatically uh, force that uh, that particular template to open every time. I don't want that to happen. I want to be able to choose it. So I'm going to leave it unselected. Uh, but you can still have the location for it here. So we'll close that. The last thing you need to check on is come down to uh, Messages and then Set Favorite Templates. And in this case, I just want to set one. Uh, I'm going to type in the ICS uh, 213 is my favorite, and then I got to tell it where that's located. So I'll hit the browse button, and I'm just going to choose the one that I want. In this case, it's highlighted here, and then just select that, and it will automatically put uh, that in there. And this again is the path for where you're going to put these files in a written form. So it's a C drive, RMS Express, global folders, templates, and then the actual file. Uh, so that visually shows you where we're putting them. So we'll hit save, and that's it. Okay, so now you've got them. Let's learn how to use form files in RMS Express. Okay, so now let's actually send and receive a message using a form. So here we're going to go up to Message and come down to New Message and we'll open a new message box. You notice across the top here I have a Select Template and I can click on that and these are all the templates that are actually the forms that we would use. So I could select one of these if I wanted to and just hit select. Instead, I'm going to close this and use my shortcut, my favorite that I created. So when I click on my favorite, it automatically opens up the web browser, whichever default web browser you have set in your system, and gives you the form. When you're done filling in all of the blanks on the form, down at the bottom on the left side, there's a Submit button. So after I finished filling in the form, I would hit the Submit button. Uh, to save time, I went ahead and filled out another one, and you can see what that might look like. So we have everything filled in, and if I hit the Submit button, so when the web browser closed, this is what you would see. It would automatically have filled in all of the information. Uh, it does have a small attachment, uh, an XML file that it attaches to it. And all you would have to fill in is the to address of who you were sending it to. At that point, it's ready to go. You don't have to do anything else to it. So we have a WinLink message, and we're just going to post that to our outbox. So you can see this is a form file. You can see that it has the attachment, and you can see what it looks like. So it's ready to go. So let me simulate for you what receiving a form would look like. We would just open a typical session and, and run that session. When that session was running and you received a form, it would pop up in your email box. Uh, once it's there, it would automatically open your web browser with the form ready to go and ready to print. So at this point all you'd have to do is go over to uh, your print off your web browser and you could print the form out and give it to the people that needed it. And it would be a beautiful form set up instead of a text file. So that's what forms are really all about. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you is if you're ever in uh, looking after you've closed the web browser and you want to go back and open this particular uh, form back up as a web browser again, if you just come over and click on the attachment, uh, 
it will open it back up and you'll have it available. So that's how you can get back into it after you've closed out of it. Finally, let's take a look at where we can go to help create form files. If you're interested in making forms to use with RMS Express, where you need to go is go to the RMS Express Forms Library page that I showed you earlier. Scroll down at the bottom and you'll see contact information for the Forms Administrator, who currently is Mike Burton. What you need to do is check in with Mike and let him know what forms you're interested in creating and coordinate that with him. There may be other people already working on the form that you're interested in making, uh, and Mike can help you out and coordinate that effort. Uh, I know there are a lot of great HTML programmers out there, and we sure do need your help in creating all the necessary forms that the WinLink system might use. Uh, so check in with Mike and make that happen. And also, come back to this location uh, periodically and check on what additional forms have been made and made available to the system. And you can download them and start using them in RMS Express. For more information on WinLink, please go to the main website at winlink.org. You can get everything there from current WinLink news to all the details of WinLink in the Book of Knowledge. If you want to learn how to install, configure, and operate RMS Express, please go to my YouTube channel by searching for K4REF and watch my complete WinLink RMS Express training series that covers all the details of how to get started. So that's it for this update, 73 from K4REF.